since the illustrators are such an integral part, it's, uh, it's vital and important that the style of the illustration matches the story. And so that's what, when an illustrator, I mean, when an art director is looking for an illustrator for a particular project, that's what we look for. We look for, um, for someone who's going to fit well with the, with the uh, feel of the story. Um, so, uh, you know, you, your style is not necessarily going to work for everything, which is okay. That's what it's supposed to be. Um, what I look for first and foremost is drawing, of the quality of the drawing. Uh, it can be realistic, it can be cartoony, it can be tight, it can be loose, it can be all kinds of different things, but it's got to be good drawing. Um, and I always tell illustrators, and I, you know, I, I feel like I'm a broken record, but I tell illustrators, draw, 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 all the time, every day. Um, carry a sketchbook with you everywhere you go. Um, one of my friends is uh, is an illustrator, and he uh, he has some very uh, strong opinions on this. And one of the things he says about in, in carrying your sketchbook, he says, never tear a page out of your sketchbook because uh, your mistakes are to be learned by. And if you if you uh, look at a, something in your sketchbook and you don't like it, and you go, oh, I'm going to take that out. Uh, Wow. Don't don't do it. You know you can take take a piece of paper out for you know, writing down an address or something, but but don't ever, uh, don't ever tear anything out that you've drawn. On. And uh, shake your boundaries. Do that all the time. You know, get, try and do something different. Uh, that you're just stay away from um, from what's safe. You know, just try and try and. Uh, just push yourself a little bit, you know, break out of that boundary. Because once, once you do, you might find yourself doing something a little different that's going to work even better. Um, is there, can you think of an example of breaking out of a boundary? What, what is yeah, it? Yeah, like one of the things I tend to do in my cartoons is I tend to draw a figure, a person. Hmm. Um, but I don't draw that person in an environment. And so I always have to try to... Um, say, okay, well, where is this person? You know, they're not just floating in space. Uh, so, yeah. so I have to push myself to draw environments. Uh, but that's not comfortable for me. I'm a whole lot more comfortable just drawing the people. Yeah, good. So, that's a good example. Yeah. And, or, or even style-wise, you know, um, if you're real comfortable drawing very realistic, maybe you ought to try cartooning, you know, or vice versa. Or, or if you're, if you're, uh, if you're real comfortable drawing a pen and ink, try pencil, or vice versa, or or uh, hold the pencil differently. Um, I don't know. You know, there's a lot of different things you could try. Just 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 experiment. I mean, that's what art's about. Art's about experimenting. Hmm. You know, it's it's not it's not really the finished product. I mean, it is the finished product, but it's not really the finished product. It's the it's the uh, process as well. So um, make mistakes. Try new styles. Try new media. You know, do something, try watercolor or, um, I don't know, try whatever, pastels or, or uh, one of those, they have those watercolor pencils, you know, that you yeah. you draw with and put water on and then it all bleeds all over the place, you know. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Um, the other, the second thing I think of is don't be afraid to be taught. I know some people don't want to, uh, don't want to learn new things. And I think it's important to do that. Um, take take college courses. A lot of colleges have continuing ed courses. You know, you can you can uh, take something there and maybe maybe uh, you know take a life drawing course. Life drawing courses are always good, no matter what you do, because it teaches you to really draw the figure. Uh, read books. Um, there's lots of good books out there. Uh, online courses. Um, you know, SVS Learn, some of those uh, things that are that are really good places to, to learn how to draw better. Um, one of the things I was, Mark and I were just talking about this uh, the other day. Uh, there's a, uh, a book that I really like called uh, Drawing for the Artistically Undiscovered. And it's basically a kid, a, a kid's drawing book, but I think it's, uh, it applies, can apply to adults. Um, 
it's written by Quentin Blake, who, if you are familiar with uh, Roald Dahl, he did all Roald Dahl's books. Uh, very, very loose, cartoony, silly style. And the book is is very silly, but it's it's really fun. It's it's published by Klutz Press, um, and it comes with uh, a couple of watercolor pencils and another pencil, and and it has little exercises in it that it has you draw stuff in the book. So uh, drawing for the artistically undiscovered, did you say? That's it. Yeah, yeah. I'll put it. Um, and then the the third thing that you can do is get critiques, and you know that's why you're here tonight. But uh, one thing to do uh, with critiques is listen. Just listen to what, had, what the person has to say. And you don't have to agree, but listen anyway. Um, I, I had one lady I critiqued one time at an SB, SCBWI uh, conference, and I told her some things that she really didn't like, and she started arguing with me. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you know, well, it's fine if she wants to argue with me, but... I think she she passed up an opportunity to learn something. Happily, Chris, nobody does that here in our group. Yeah, yeah. And and, and once again, you know, it's not like I'm God. You know, it's my it's my opinion. <laughs> um, and if you disagree with my opinion, well, that's fine. But you know, I I think it's really good to listen. You know, I listen whenever I can when somebody tells me something, and you know, I can disagree, and um, that's fine. But at least I'm giving the person a hearing and it, there may be something there that I can learn. So, um, okay. So the first thing was, was drawing quality drawing. And I, you know, I, I cannot emphasize that more. I mean, there's, I can't emphasize it too much. Drawing is key. Uh, that's what illustration is about drawing. Um, secondly, I look for consistency. Um, Curious style and characterization through a number of illustrations, uh, and and I think I, was, I think it was the the last uh, critique you had the two women that I can't remember their names. Um, the, what, that's one of the things I said. You know, take take a character and uh, and carry carry it carry that character through a number of uh, illustrations so that you can show that you can do that. Because I mean, if you can do a 32 page book, then you're going to have to do that. You know, yeah. you're gonna to, your character is going to have to look the same on every illustration as far as, you know, their skin color, their nose, their ears, you know, all that stuff. They're going to have to, it's going to have to be the same person. Um, so I want to see, I also want to see consistency of quality. Um, and I think this goes back to the portfolio. When you're showing your portfolio, you need to edit your portfolio mercilessly. You need to make sure you're putting your best pieces in there. Only include your best work in your portfolio. And uh, my friend Dave Kramer once said, the best art I can expect is the worst piece in the portfolio. I'm trying to get my head around that. The best art you can expect is the worst piece Hmm. It's like you look at a portfolio and you look at their worst piece in there, and that's the best you're gonna expect. You're gonna be able to expect. Oh, and that's yeah. In in the spirit of hope for the best, but be prepared for the worst. Yeah, and that's the exactly. worst. Okay. Exactly. Okay, got it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was brilliant. 